so it's April 18th, 2011, and as I mentioned in my previous video, that I've been given the green light to do a creator-owned book with IDW. It's extremely exciting. I am, uh, you know, it's been a dream of mine since a kid, so I'm really excited about it. Very excited about the story itself. And so what we've decided to do is to do creator vlogs throughout the process, kind of talking about what we're going through and um, etc. ad nauseum. Um, the idea, to a certain extent, is kind of pretentious, you know, like who would care? But on the flip side of that, I get a lot of emails and a lot of questions about, you know, um, the industry, how to break into it, uh, what goes on, and deadlines, etc. Um, and on top of that, I would find something like this interesting. So we've decided to go ahead and do it. Um, the story is very personal to me that we're going to be doing. Um, and it, it means a great deal to me. Um, and at some point, you know, throughout the vlogging, I'd love to go through and maybe bore you with the uh, whole idea of where the story came from. But uh, the quick uh, version of this and the point I need to get to is that when I first got the idea to do this story, I, you know, talked to a few friends, you know, um, friends opinions that I respect and so forth about the story to just to gauge their reactions you know after I kind of really flushed out a lot of the ideas I just wanted to see what you know people that I know that are smarter than me would, would think uh, about the basic storyline and a very good friend of mine and my art rep Kazra Gambari um, responded pretty heavily to the storyline at first and um, he asked a lot of great questions about it and um, started poking holes in certain aspects of it that I, I really, really liked. And throughout a few months of us talking about it, I slowly realized that you know, he would be a phenomenal co-writer with what he was bringing to me um, uh, with the story. Um, he was adding things and taking away things and everything he seemed to do was fitting. So I've dragged him into doing these vlogs with me. So once a week, we're just going to set up the camera and film ourselves talking about this book and uh, see what happens. Uh, in the beginning, it's going to be a little difficult because we can't talk about a lot of the details. We have a lot of uh, great creators coming on board to help us with the book. Um, I think I can definitely say some, some very established, well-known names um, are going to be helping us and I can't wait to announce that announce the name and really start talking about the story. So bear with us in the beginning where we're getting used to all this and uh, can't reveal too many details. We're going to be doing a, uh, well I guess I'm going to be doing a prequel story that um, will be basically, at least in the beginning, like a digital only comic um, that's going to go up on the IDW app. And basically what we're, what we're trying to do, what we're talking about doing is it's basically an introduction to the world, but it also kind of tells uh, a certain segment of the story that, that wouldn't have gotten told in the book itself. And just the mere idea of that has got me pretty excited on a lot of levels. Just I started kind of riding around and messing around with different themes for what I was going to work with, and, and the story just kind of exploded. I had a lot of fun. Um, I've already written like a first draft, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I love it. And the way you describe it too, a lot of the environment of those characters ended up being flushed out, structurally, uh, emotionally, aesthetically. So it ended up having a big upside even for uh, how the main story will end up looking. Yeah, I think it's kind of like an intro for me into the world that we've created. Right. And. Um, like, you know, when we were doing the synopsis, when we were doing like the, the, the pitch, basically, um, which is a pretty good story in itself, just doing the pitch. Yeah. Um, you know, I think we both entered that world um, and, and played around in there, but there, you know, there's tension because you don't, when you're doing a, a pitch, you know, you don't know if it's going to get published or not. So there's a lot of like weird insecurity things that come up, I think even with writing it, um, that, that you might, I, I know at t there were times I, I kind of leaned more towards certain aspects of it because it was a pitch. Um, that, that now that we know we have a publisher um, and a great publisher, that um, it's a little easier to go kind of crazy with what's going on. And so for me, the prelim story has basically been more about like 
um, re-entering the world that, that is, it's really fun to play around with it. It's a fun place to, to play. And it was, uh, I guess it wasn't a coincidence that the elements of the main story that seem most underserved, the characters and the environments that seemed to be underrepresented or, or even more assumed in our own minds, ended up being where the prequel existed and ended up being where the stories that we want to put in the back of these books are, are going to take place. And that seemed to make a lot of sense to fall together almost ridiculously uh, comfortably. Yeah, I mean, I think for both of us, um, one of the things that we're trying to do is create a world that we don't just play in, but other people get to play in. And so I don't know, I remember if it was you or me who came up with the idea of having um, in the back of each book, because the cool thing um, with working with IEW is they're, they're basically giving us all the pages in the book, which you get a lot more pages in 22. And uh, there's the idea of having a, a two to four page story in the back of each issue that concerns kind of a different thing going on um, in the same timeline of the story. And um, what we're hoping to do is have different creators and artists draw and write um, those stories. So we're going to be almost independent of those stories. Yeah. Um, there could be some funky stuff with book four. Um, there will, in this series, it is a four-issue series that will be collected into a trade, but book four, the, the, the back story, the story that needs to be in the back, has a little bit more to do with what's happening in the book than the other stories. And not that the other stories don't, but it's kind of critical, so we're, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with that. Do you think that um, we can talk about the artists that are going to be doing the variant coverage yet? Why? We can say that? Are you sure, can you say that with confidence? Because I'm not even sure that I want to do a cover. <laughs> <laughs> Edit.